get your shit up and in the way. So you have your beverage, I have my beverage. <laughs> what, what are you drinking? Green shit. What, what's its real name? Okay, green. not its real name. What is it? Shit. It's just a green superfood powder. It's mostly vegetables. Green like superfood. Oh, so you're you're just going I'm down the middle, man. You're grass. grass. Exactly. See, that's, that's, why, our that way, that's song. That's how I'll be able to put on the massive, maximum amount of mass because I'm just bypassing the cow and getting the the, the going straight to the, the, the yeah to the grass. Exactly. All this protein powder bullshit. You know, just give me the grass. You keep saying Sparrow, I was waiting for it this time. <laughs> mm. Grass. Alright, we're gonna start. <laughs> Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everything in between, and everything on both sides of that. Welcome to another episode of the Not Robots Podcast. That is your host, Harry. We're not forgetting this time. Don't hurt yourself. Are you putting up your hand sign again? Yes, it's 12. Episode 12, guys. My name is not episode 12. Harry, use your voice. You have one. You were born with a mouth. Are you sure it's not episode 12? It is episode 12. Are you sure your name isn't episode 12? You're putting up 21. No, this is 12. In what language? Heck, I invented this. <laughs> oh, fair so, enough. As soon as you do this, that's 10. And 2. Okay, so today on the Not Robots podcast. Oh, by the way, that's Pete. Yeah, I knew I was waiting for it. <laughs> questioning the veracity of his statement that he's indeed not a robot since he brought one of his kin. I mean, he brought the uh, Google Home device into the last podcast. Yeah, that thing was actually really handy. And I've learned a lot about how to use it since. And that spyware, I mean, that, that useful piece of equipment has been plugged in by my microwave. Uh, kind of like where my microwave meets, like like the kitchen meets the the dining area. Mm -hmm. There's the the countertop lip bar space. It's been setting up there. Countertop lip bar space. Yeah. So if like you're in the kitchen Hold doing up. dishes or ladies, something, ladies and gentlemen, do you have a countertop lip bar space? If not, you cannot relate to this. But if you do, please comment about your. Countertop lip bar space. <laughs> yes. Back yes. to Pete. If you wanted to comment, that's a not robots questions at gmail.com or anchor.fm slash not dash robots. Remember dot slash dash dot hack. Do, 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 do. Dot. Yeah. So today we're gonna be answering the do, 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold what? on. No oh, more Morse code. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Hey, you wanna hear something that I learned recently about uh, Morse code? Enlighten me. Yes. When you open the door of a Honda, it goes beep, 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 when your keys are in. So it's sending an SOS. No, it's not. It's four digits. What is that in Morse code? It's an H. When you have the keys in the ignition so and you open the door of a it's Honda, a Honda, it's saying H, 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 continuously. It mm -hmm. is... So in your it, ears, so even reminding you that it's a Honda. What, what, what age could be Husqvarna? Yeah, but if your chainsaw has its keys on the inside of it still, and you're opening the door to your chainsaw. Yes. <laughs> and it starts beeping on your chainsaw. We got a big issue. What are you trying to say? Yeah, I don't think chainsaws have doors. I mean, have you, keys. Have you, have you seen like the really big ditch witches? That's just a gigantic chainsaw with a door. Do they have doors on them? Like the, the big industrial ones. I mean, don't they have like the big ones that just chew up the road? Yeah, That's probably. Do they have keys? How do you start the thing? If they didn't have well, keys, like every Yahoo would be jacking the okay. thing and like sawing through people's houses. Well, Let's be realistic. Well, no, Wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Would yeah. you not? You'd I be like, know. hey, 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 somebody left the giant chainsaw on 
leashed, let's go jacket. So you'd roll your you large your chainsaw on a leash four door extended bed F three fifty dually and back it up to the giant chainsaw thing and you would cart it off and you'd be like, you know, Bob's been irritating me lately and he's not home. He and the kids are at the lake right now. So let me chainsaw my way right through Bob's house. <laughs> well, don't you already if you have your giant F six fifty or whatever super No, not the six fifty duty. The, the 650 is a cool vehicle. But go ahead. Honestly, I thought the 650 was rather ugly because it doesn't You even thought come the 650 was ugly? The 650 doesn't even come with a bed. You can get a bed for it. You can get saw, it for a 350 or something else. I saw a guy here. I pulled up at Home Depot one day. And there was a guy. Well, and I think he you, had. What were you doing at Home Depot? Getting stuff. I think he had Michigan tags on we're, it. We're going to have to come back to this. He had an F650. And it had a bed on it, so it looked like a gigantic regular truck, except for it had the big gas okay. tanks on the side. And... I watch the the car YouTuber guy named Doug DeMiro, Don't and he, him, he does a lot of car reviews, and on there he showed a um, F650, mm-hmm. and he showed how you get an F, F, F650 is when you buy it from Ford... It doesn't come with a bed. Because you have your options of what you want to do. One of the options is not a bed. This guy had a bed. Well, they it only looked way, like well, a regular truck. The one he showed that was completely done up and it looked like a factory vehicle did have a bed on it. But that bed was from a 350 and not from a 650. Because the 650 doesn't come with a bed. But you get a bed and put it on there. Right. Bolt on. You're buying half a truck. No, you're not buying half a truck. You're buying something that can well, pull a forest out of the ground. This Go thing is, is pretty darn big. That is that is true. So You could tow airplanes with that thing. My my point to that is that if you're thinking about you taking your the Eiffel Tower to, to do some destruction, you already have the vehicle that you could chain up whatever it is you wanted and do whatever destruction you wanted. Not as much fun as using the giant chainsaw, though. It's the fun factor. Have you ever used a gigantic, I have to drive this industrial size chainsaw? No, but I have used a few reasonably sized stump grinders. So I'm like, those are pretty fun. Yeah, so you know, like, I'm imagining, you know, those big gnarled teeth this thing has just grinding away right through Bob's house. Well, I'm <laughs> Bob, of all people. Huh? Hey, Bob ticks me off. Look man. out, Bob. All right, so if you have this gigantic truck and you have a bed from the 350 on it, and if you hook up the chain to, say, a tree or a, a fence post or Box an entire house. Yeah. house or whatever it is you want yeah. in this case, yeah. and you hit that gas pedal mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. and that diesel yeah. rolls coal, it could probably pull whatever it is you want out of it. We're and not trying to move it. Traction. We're not trying to move it. We're trying to cut it in half with John well, Do you really think it's going to move or do you think if that chain goes around the whole house, it's going to level the house? Not as much fun as he comes home and his house has been bisected by what looks like Jaws. Which is more fun. Oh, and then you leave a big old rubber, like, Jaws toy. Oh, would that not be awesome? (laughs) That would be, like, perfect. Oh, man. I actually saw a Jaws, like, giant rubber Jaws on top of a pest control van on the highway the other day. I was like, where's my phone? Crap! I gotta take a picture of this, and, and you, you get, can't uh, do that because of law. No, well, you, can, you can't you know. text and drive, but you can. I guess you can still. Take no, but if they see, no, if they see you with the phone in your hand. Well, ha! Huh, what about with older cars, and you're using the GPS that's on your phone? That's what your dash mount's for. What if you do not have a dash mount because uh, there's probably a law it's a that rental says you have to have a dash mount. There, there is a. There, there, there will be. Uh, probably. I mean, just like everything. If it feels good, stop. There's a law. There's a law for everything. Name something there isn't a law about. Do, 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 is there a law for screwing your cap on your ball jar when drinking your green schmutz? About the creation of the glass uh, 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 mason jar? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, 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 you uh, said uh, name something. I said, is there a law about screwing the cap on your mason jar? You're naming an you, action, uh, not you an said item. A, you said something. Something you said something. is an item. Something is vague. It was pretty vague. So I responded in kind, and so I won that. Let's move on. All right. Fair enough. 
So, today's topic du jour is should you drive your giant chainsaw through bu- No, no. We're, no, you shouldn't do, don't, if you have a giant chainsaw that you can drive, do not drive it through anybody's house, especially not if their name is Bob. But what happens if Bob ticked you off? Well, you can probably discuss it with him like a, you know, a human being, possibly an adult. God. I know, I know, I know. What's the fun in that, right? At you, 650. You're taking a shower every chainsaw. morning. And he's looking through your window at Bob's you, lather it up. Off at the lake with the kids in the bass boat, you fire up the giant chainsaw and have at it. Where's Bob's wife? She's not She's getting on that him. bass boat. She's hanging out with June talking. Is this Bob guy real? No. <laughs> Sounds like he is. <laughs> I Lord, I hope not. <laughs> I'm oh just man! Running. I'm just running with this at this point. <laughs> so now you're like, you've got your giant chainsaw kind of fired up, and you're like, you bisected the house, and you're like, you know what? What? Quarters. Quarters. Yep. So you go at the house from the other direction, oh. and you <laughs> you're, so you you're, quarter the house. Yeah. You, you instead of halfing it, you quarter it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you can get real fancy and cut the garage off and then cut the other pieces up like little loads of bricks. <laughs> we could have some fun with this thing. Especially if you start bringing an industrial mm-hmm. size like bottle of like peanut butter or something. No, no, dude. dude you don't want to do jelly. Like the jelly would be a gigantic to container of Welch's grape squeeze. The squeeze, no less. That would be delicious. That would that not be awesome? Yeah, but see, after you're done with that, you'd be so hungry you wouldn't want to do the rest of the house. You've already quartered. You're done. You sliced it. You're going to eat the house after you put it in No, jail. then you go fire up your smoker and make something cool. You had a good Yeah, that's true. Shredded pork donut. Yeah, shredded sure. house, shredded pork. Well, you're not going to put shredded house on a grill. I mean, you're not putting shredded pork on a grill. It's just regular pork first before you shred it. Pulled pork. The pork is... Pull. You have to pull off the grill. Off the bone, you know, maybe, pull. before it. You have to pull it off the grill. Yeah. The pork is pulled. Yeah. We're not doing pulled house. I mean, if you were, you could have used that whole chain idea I came up with. <sighs> but it's not as much fun. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done either, so I have no idea. I haven't seen a chainsaw you could drive yet. Although, now that I think about it, I bet it exists. I bet it exists for creating ditches. My point exactly. Ooh. It's you know, a gigantic ditch witch on steroids. A, a giant ditch witch wouldn't need steroids. It's a giant ditch witch. Well, you got a point. <laughs> I mean, what kind of ditch is it going to make? Whatever kind it wants. You know? Essentially, a whatever canal the dredger. driver of this gigantic chainsaw wants. Whatever kind of ditch he wants, and wherever it is he wants it to go, so it even if it's right like through the Bob's middle of I four during rush hour or, traffic, or Bob's house, or Bob's house, because Bob ticked him off. Yeah, and they didn't have good drainage in the first place, so you know he did Bob a favor. Yeah, he he made him a nice ditch. Yep, with the witch. Heck, he could have gotten real fancy and like moated his house. <laughs> That'd be a good time. That'd be a good reason for where the shark came from. <laughs> Just put more sharks in the moat. Pour colors for his front door and everything. That'd be that'd be really cool. Oh yes, that's a fun word to say, porticulus. But you know, hey, it's. You know what else is a fun castle word to say? Crenellations. I was thinking murder hole. That's so easy to say. They. Oh. Uh-huh. I mean, while the the idea of it makes us laugh. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Murder hole is a <laughs> funny combo of words. Yeah. yeah. Like you kind of like any word with the word hole. Is also a kind of funny combination of words. Donut, donut, except for we had that discussion. Donut hole. But you have to fill it with like munchkin pork. <laughs> you got the, the barbecue pork filled. All right, munchkin. so what about like finger hole? That's funny. Wood hole. What also a funny combination what of words. earth is a finger hole? I don't know, but I'm just saying. I saw the very first thing that came to mind my hands, hand hole. Hmm. Sounds funny. Isn't that what you grip when you're speaking of which, climbing? Remind me about handhole because of work. Is that like corn after hole? we're done with this, because guys, that's it's that's going to be like one of those uh, adult things that's said off camera. <laughs> I can't tell you. Isn't, isn't a handhole what you use when you're climbing, not when you're rock climbing? 
Uh, and climbing hooks? No. Or free climbing. Yeah. Free climbing. Yeah. And and hold. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So we should probably get back to our original topic, which we haven't even discussed yet. The, we the, sort of did discuss. The chainsaw? No, the one on the last the episode. Even further back, last episode. The pork filled don't, don't. No, too, too many episodes back. Uh, uh, my island? That's way too many episodes back. We, you went too far back again. Uh, uh, Elon? Maybe what you Notice need. Notice you got Elon in here somehow. Hey, hey. Um, Maybe what you need is time travel. Why would I do that? Okay. Today on the Not Robots <laughs> podcast, we're going to be answering the age-old question. Oh, here we go. Why is it age-old? Oh, I knew you were going to ask. You always interrupt, too. It's fun. So I'm going to anticipate this eventually. Like, like I did this time. Yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the age-old question. What? Mm-hmm. You ready for it? Go ahead. Who yeah. asked the question again? I knew it. I knew it. You did when did I ask the question? On the last episode. Was I here? You were right there. Are you sure? I am. I thought you, you were Pete, but okay. I am. Uh, ah, bah, 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 bah. Got me. All right. The age-old question. If it's time <laughs> travel, how is it age-old then? I mean, is it a future question? Because it was discussed in something a long time ago. How long ago? Star Trek. But whose timeline? Both. All three. Wait a minute, how many Star Treks are there? Four? Five? Well, there was Deep Space Nine. There was Next Generation, the Voyager, original Voyager. Uh, the original DS9. Uh, no, that's the, 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 Deep Space the, Nine. The Picard one. Uh, that's the, next generation. Uh, that's true. That is. That is. We're at five. Um, there's now there's Picard. There's uh, the, the whatever the new one is. So six. Picard. Oh no no. There's actually there's another one. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Star Trek. Uh, Whoa. This is terrible. What kind yeah. of nerds are we? Ah. I'm not a nerd. I am. We all know. Which, are you the great nerd? I love the great nerd. <laughs> the great nerd. <laughs> well, no, the run cherry now. nerd is really good, too, though. When you get that little pack with the cherry and the great nerds in it, oh, man, that's it. It's on right there. You know what I didn't like about the nerds? What? They were too crunchy. It was kind of like the, a non-pop pop rock. T- exactly. It was It was almost disappointing. Like, you get this tiny little box. You go, ha, ha. You get pour it out of your hand, and you're like, "Whoa, they look good!" And you reach for the biggest one out of the the clumpy one, right? The clumpy then one. Then you yeah. pop that one in your mouth, and you go, mm, "God, this tastes great!" Crunch, 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 and that's it. Yeah, it was all air. It was like it, it was, was like, like where did it go? It was like the Cheeto. If you pump. look at your hand and the the great ones, for example, the purple would bleed is all over bleeding the way. Yep. on your hand. Yep. Well, now you get a handful of them. And you got to chuck them into your mouth, and either you miss or you slap your mouth, <laughs> and you leave a big old purple ring on the side of your face that's also so, in your hand. So it looks like you, somebody punched you in the face or something. It's your bruise. No, it, it looks like you're kissing a, a purple Smurf. There, there isn't a purple Smurf. Uh, remember, there was a red Smurf and a bunch of blue Smurfs. All right, so <laughs> let's go back and travel in time. I'm just assuming that, that later on... The red Smurf and the blue Smurf had a baby. And there was a baby Smurf. And that baby Smurf, because we know our, our colors from, you know, the first grade, red and blue makes the same color as your t-shirt. I'm not going down this way. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 hey, you ask Google the, the, the mamas and the papas. <laughs> I, I refuse to go down this road. All right. Okay, so, so we're going to ask... A question that apparently is posed in all six Star Treks, seven, or how many ever. No, did. they didn't ask it. That's the problem. That's why we're going to answer the question that wasn't asked, that you yeah, asked do we know in the it, last episode. But if they didn't ask it, then is there a question? There is, because you asked it in the last episode. Am I relevant? Well, according to Google, we were. We is Oh, my God, that's right. We exist. Crap. Yes. Okay, so I guess we are relevant. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, so. That question is in warp speed 
are you actually time traveling? Aha! Uh -huh. Now, we thought about this because when you're traveling away from a star at light, at the speed of light, one, the speed of light, one time, one C, that light is not projecting on you from that star. You wouldn't see that star. Going towards the star, it would be at twice the speed. So when this is how we got it wrong in the last episode because we said we were going towards. That's what I thought about. We got this backwards. We were heading towards Betelgeuse. That's a star on the left shoulder of Orion. That's probably going to go supernova, hopefully sometime in our lifetime, so we get to see it. it probably already has. It's 582 light years away, and if we're traveling at the speed of light towards Betelgeuse, we're getting twice the speed of light. Why getting getting the light plus the speed of light, meaning that's doubling it. No, 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 no. Traveling at the speed of light towards light means that light is coming at you at twice the speed. So what we're seeing happen in Betelgeuse is happening in fast forward. Well, and it, it, theoretically, if we were actually moving towards it. Ah, oh, your brain, that backflip it does. Yes, very nice. See, it's not often you can get this guy to shut up, except at the very beginning of a podcast when he's doing a twitchy thing with his hands, and then when he starts thinking really hard like this. Embrace, embrace the background noise. Hopefully I can get the lack of background noise going on. So you're actually seeing the light. Out loud, out loud. So, you're, so it's like a fast forward video. Uh-huh. But at some point when you're fast forwarding the video, aren't you traveling time? The fast forwarding video, are you because traveling it's time? Five hundred. So we're seeing when when we see light from the star, it's that light we see happened, happened five hundred eighty-two years, years ago years when ago. it's from Betelgeuse, for example. So if we're traveling towards that light at the speed of light. It would be coming at us twice as fast, but when we get there, we right would have we would fast forwarded in its time. Because if we're going the speed but of light, in relation to that. Earth, we've gone back in time because the light we now see hasn't gotten there yet. But if we're traveling at the speed of light, the reflection from Earth, we wouldn't even see it. But that's not. But, but it's. Is it time travel relative to an endpoint? If the endpoint was, say, Betelgeuse, mm -hmm. and we're traveling towards it, we're getting there at twice the speed of light, even though we're traveling at the speed of light, but twice the speed of light relative to Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse. because we're getting its light plus our speed. Correct. So light plus light equals double light. So it's halving your 582 light years. Right, puts so it down to... On Earth, we've gone back in time. So, warp speed, which we knew, was how many times the speed of light? I don't remember, it was a was lot. One C, no, one, warp one was the speed of light. Was one C. Yeah. yeah. But, but then it became exponential. 9.9, it was an exponential it increase. It was 2,000 times the speed of light. Which we had Google calculate calculate out for us. It was some giant number times ten to the whatever it was. If you go back to the last episode, if you want the exact number, it was giant nerd speak and that. But it was funny because it was the little, 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 little was there, right? But um, so, is it time travel, but not time travel? Because your speed up according to one. You're speed up according to the other, but what about the ones to the left and right of you? It's or to the, the X and Y. Or the, yeah, the X and Y. So it's, you can't really call it time travel. It's almost like rate of decay on relative to two points. But what's happening is happening at double speed. You're seeing in one numbers. direction. In one direction. But not in the other. So if you were traveling away from it, what you're seeing if you're going, say, half the speed of light, it would only be moving at half speed. And if you're going the speed of light, it wouldn't 
be going okay, at you, all. I think you just bought another podcast. So now uh, okay, we, okay. Explain to me how I'm 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 warping time and and space. no, because now we've got to we've got to address the fact of what is time. Okay, well, we've mentioned this before, and I don't think time is real. Uh, time is a construct so created time by humans. Con- time is a construct created by humans so that we can count the organizational skills. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that says otherwise of that is the decay of molecules, which eventually gets down to base layer. We've covered this, and the time that it takes for that to happen could be instead of quartz based clocks or rotation of the earth based time, it could be whatever it is, lead decay based time in, say, any other region of the you know, universe. multiverse, possibly. Spider Man there? Well, what about the Andromeda Galaxy? So, like you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, question. Ooh, this is beginning to hurt my brain. <laughs> so we have the solar system, mm-hmm. right? And then we have our solar system spinning around the entire galaxy, the entire Milky Way galaxy. Mm-hmm. And we know that it's roughly um, pizza shaped, right? Actually, no, it's conic. Yeah. But how many rogue stars are there? And the X and Y that just kind of didn't match into our big spinning galaxy. How many has it flicked off? No idea. Wouldn't that be interesting to find out that there's some rogue stars out there with their own sort of basically creating their own galaxy, miniature galaxy, on their own because they didn't follow the entire gravitational pull of the supermassive black hole at the center of the Earth where it's called Sagittarius A. Asterisk, I think. Star. It's it's a black hole. And it's it's what is at the, the center of our galaxy. It's called short and sag A. But if it didn't follow that and it flicked off, because we already know that a whole bunch of them basically sucks. random out oh, from no. the direction, you know, you know, the, the X the X and Y axis. But how many went on the, the Z axis? Yeah. We need some massive AI to model all of that. Exactly, which means that why does Star Trek have people on the bridge? Because <laughs> we're only interested in one direction. Dude, you got to talk to somebody, right? I mean, if you're talking to like, Spock like people all the time, they have no humor and they answer all the questions. I know, I know, Spock told a joke once. Don't ruin it. <laughs> I know. And he was only half Vulcan. You know. I don't know how that works either. Which which half was it? Was his mom or his dad? No, his dad was Vulcan, right? Yep, his dad yeah, was yeah. Vulcan. That's right. But Sorry. how humorless were the Vulcans if it, it, he was only half Vulcan and humorless? What are you trying to say? That Vulcans were must have been horribly dry humored, except for on the Pampa, when they were. Well, let's move on. Yeah, um, okay. All right, all right, too far. <clears throat> Hold on, I think my microphone did its oh, thing. There he goes. It, he's, oh, he's lost. He's lost. One of these times, I'm going to get this life. right. Well, you see, <clears throat> so Pete's problem is Pete's neck is the size of the black hole at the center of our uh, <clears throat> galaxy. And the shirts that he wears have an incredible challenge not trying to strangle him to death. So then he Try lashes a microphone onto this collar that is, like, straining. I mean, literally, it is fighting for dear life not to be shredded by his massive girthiness. And whoa, 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 whoa. invariably falls in because the collar's like, what is this extra weight? Pete move, good, and it swallows the microphone. It's a same, complete mess. Same. I mean, I'll put it to you this way. You, you watch those World's Strongest Men contests, and you see those super massive human beings, Pete. No. In a nutshell. And, but saying the, the shredded girthiness, 
It sounds like words from some of those romance novels my wife reads. <laughs> oh. A blue veiny shred Hi, of dirtiness. Hi, Pete's wife, because he just called you out, and I'm not going to use your formal name because you may not be she a She always accuses me of reading over her shoulder whenever it is, like, she's got a book open or whatever. I have no idea not what it you. is. I don't want to read what it is that she reads. I have no interest in she any of these silly ro- romance novels. Huh? She reads some good stuff. Oh, she has read, just in her digital library, it was like 3,500 books. I know. Just but... on the library since it started keeping track. And she was reading like that for years before she started keeping track at all. And that's just the confirmed books from that digital library. She's probably somewhere in the six to 7,000 book range. That's quite impressive. Yeah, she's a lot smarter than I am. I mean... If you knew her, you'd understand. She is smart. Uh, we're smart too, no, no, I'm but not only smart. I'm to not, the point nope, where nope, we're we're smart, smart enough to get ourselves in trouble. No, nope, I'm not smart at all. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, nope, well, I'm not, smart I'm not, enough to the point where I could get myself in trouble. I still count like this, so you know that kind of. Yeah, I can't wait until you get to like episode 101. How are you gonna do that? Just try it out there. Throw your hands out there. Use all the brain cells at your... Hold on. What is that? 101. You got one finger pointed up and the other finger pointed down? 101. How are you going to do 111 then? Ah. Yes. Are those different sunglasses? What? That's a Q. That's 100. That's a Q. No, no, no that's 100. Oh, you did Q. That's 100 I now. Q. I fixed it. It's 100. I fixed it. Uh-huh. That's... Okay. What is on the other hand? Uh, oh, okay. So you're doing blinky, blinky one. Okay. That was 111. <laughs> yeah. So we've just traveled in the future to podcast 111. All right. When we actually get to 111, we should revisit episode 12 <laughs> and show you doing the hand signals on the... For 111. Yeah. On... on yeah, we could have that as the the opener on the. Yeah, uh, we've for those of you who don't know, we have time travel. Listening to the podcast, we actually put the recording of our don't, recording don't go, don't on go to YouTube. Back. No, you're not ready. Sometimes I remember to put some of them on Facebook too. Most, most of you are not ready. Don't don't just. And there's there's a lot of stuff that we we cut out. Yeah, because you, the... you couldn't really. <laughs> yeah, no. <clears throat> Well, I don't, I don't put any of the stuff that, you know, like, if we said something like, I don't know, really, really off, you know, it would, it would really, really upset a huge group of people, for example, yes. if we said anything like that, that's not going to be on there. So, no, no, no. You know, that, we're, we're safe. We're not trying to get sued. None of, none of that craziness, you nope, know. Nope. Yeah, so, but the the silly jokes and stuff the stupid things that we might say at either beginning or after we're done recording no they saying. they are on there everything and this is the most serious podcast on the planet if by chance you happen to see it or whatever it's called the the not robot or not the it's not it's, robots it's the, podcast yeah look it doesn't the, have the but look for the there's no the the or the or the the t h e whatever version you want out of that it's not the it's, it's the just the. not robots podcast on, on the, the tubes formal, of you. It's the formal D. Yes. The, the formal D. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I wish the well that <laughs> the not robot podcast. Not the. Not the. Not the. The? Not, not, not the. So it's the not, not the. No, no, no. Not, not, not. Robot. Not and junk. <laughs> <laughs> the girthy junk. The most the most serious <laughs> podcast on the planet. Uh, no. And <clears throat> if by chance you are listening to this and you're so uptight you took anything that we ever said seriously, then are we trying to travel serious? Yeah, you, you check your pants and pull on that waistband a little bit, and loosen it up. So <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the, the star. The, the star. Oh, the star. yeah. Serious? Because I mean, I'm just terrible. saying the same sort of thing. Because I mean, how far is that away? Well, I only chose Beetlejuice because it, it has a significant and it event. It has a Nick Michael Keaton movie. It has a it. really sweet name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even though it's spelled differently than the Beetlegeist. The, the, that's kind of what it looks like, but it, it is pronounced Beetlejuice. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Juice. 
You know, in well, Iraq, gin in it. right? In Iraq, in the the dining facilities, they call the defects, or we would call it chow hall, or a place you go to eat if you don't understand any of that. AKA a restaurant. No, it's for the soldiers and, and AKA people. AKA restaurant. Uh, okay, I, I guess if is that what the those who haven't served in the military, you haven't, know right? You know. Okay, so that that's yeah, what you okay. Do I, do I, in I his thought, I guess not restaurant. Really, I'm not. Instructions don't work well with me. I, that's fair. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, in the the, the eating area, uh, they had uh, coolers usually uh, yeah, somewhere along the wall. Almost dining hall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah gotcha. Yeah. Well, I went to college you too. Were dying <laughs> in those. Did, did the, you die when you were in there? I, I went to it. I got a pizza and, and a soda at one point. I tried to drink the soda. Did you, Remember, did you I had that soda dine? a long time. I threw that soda in the trash eventually, yeah. and I did eat the slice of but pizza. But did you sit and dine? I did. Then it's a dining hall. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> so they have the coolers where like drinks and stuff are, and there's like Mountain Dew. It doesn't have sugar or, or the, the corn syrup, but it has it's made with sugar. Same with the Coca-Cola and all Wait, that stuff that's in there. The juice, you say. Speaking of juice, the juice... Was what I was getting to the point of. It was actually spelled on there in English J O O S. Juice. Not J U I C E. J O O S. But that's how you would spell juice. And not in English. Phonetically. <laughs> Phonetically, sure. Yes. But that's how it was written on there. In, and then the Arab writing, because most of the stuff was coming from like Kuwait or. or Lebanon or, or wherever it is they're getting it, and uh, the in English, phonetically speaking, it was correct. It was juice. But the the word itself was not J U I C E. It was J O O S. It was juice. It was juice. Yes. When in doubt, a it nice was cold container of juice. It was a juice with. box <laughs> for adults. Could you inject like vodka into your juice box? No, there was no alcohol over there. It wasn't legal. Oh, in fact, my roommate when I was over there in, in the Chews, the community housing, housing units, we're dorms. Yeah, if, yeah, if that's what you want to call them. Basically, yeah. they were trailers <laughs> that were cut up in a whole bunch of sections, and there were oh, wait, two so bunks in those little, little uh, trailers. Classrooms. Yeah, I, I guess they use those here in Florida. Exactly. <laughs> so those are the classrooms. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll make nothing hurricane-proof for our children. That's, why would that's, we want to do why that? Why would we do that? Because you can Let's make another just, one, like, yeah. tomorrow. It may take nine months for it to bake, but okay. Yeah, this, <laughs> just after it blows away, then they'll pick up the scraps, and they'll sit in the grass and drink their juice. Box. <laughs> yeah. Not the J-O-O-S. They spelled it correctly because they are in school. Yes. But yeah. I'm Anyways, sure so that, that had high fructose corn syrup in it versus the juice. Yeah, that's true. These were actually made with real fruit juice. No. I Amazing. What kind of concept is barbaric? You know, most of our juice stuff you see now only has like 10% natural ingredients. Exactly. The 90% artificial ingredients makes you wonder what's in there besides water? If it's 90% water, nutrient. Like human beings, aren't we like 80 or 90% or whatever percent water? Yeah, yeah. We're 100% natural? Well, not if you're consuming nothing that's natural. No. <laughs> yeah, if you're drinking the 10% juice. <laughs> point, yeah. point uh, right I have there. something over here. Let me see if it has uh, uh, anything in there that says that it's got real juice. I don't want to show it on camera because I love this stuff. And then you have it to says actually flavored. Oh my god! It look at it. It's it says flavored plus other natural flavors with sweeteners. So sure. So high fructose corn syrup and oh no no I don't know if there is corn syrup. to actually make it taste like what they think you should think it tastes like. No, it actually uses crystalline fructose, which is really impressive. It says uh, reverse osmosis water, crystalline fructose, and then the rest of it is less than 1% of the following. Cane sugar, vitamins, and other... It does say vegetable juices for color. We'll put <laughs> so a, right down at the bottom. a drop of blah, <laughs> and it will shade it 1 slightly. 1% or less of the following natural ingredients. 
<laughs> Indeed. Oh, wow. But you know what? I like the title of the stuff, too. Although, you, you, again, you, you can't, can't see it. it. You can't, I don't want to say it. You know. Cause because that they're owned by a very, very big company. And you definitely don't want to pee them. Oh, just about. It's really, really similar in the coloring. Oh, Lord. Why did you have to do that? Well, damn Let, well. Let's stop. Let's move along here yes. and not get sued. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, no always umbrellaing. No suing. Yes. So. So. What? No, okay. so <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you could go to the store and you could be like, aha, that's the stuff. And then you no, read the no, ingredients no, and go, no, oh, no, wow. No, no, but no, honestly, no, if you pick up anything. Hold on. It you doesn't. just said go to the store and read. What is this? What is this reading thing? I know you could always just ask Google. And, yeah, because well, I mean, what's the point? No, no, no we don't it's have not even the ask Google thing. It's the whole entire why are you going to go to the store and read? Well, I guess if you go into say, we'll say one of the convenience stores like Seven Eleven or Circle K or whatever, where they have a whole bunch of drinks you in the just back of them. Companies as if they were sewer snack, right? <laughs> no, those are great because they're loaded with whatever it is you want. They all have. A tremendous amount of options. What else could you ask for? I mean, they do have gas, bingo, and they have the snacks on the inside. Fantastic. They got my beef jerky. Both of them do. All the others do as well. The Cumberland Farms, the the you know a, a million gas stations out there. They all have it. The same sort of thing. It's inside potato chips. I like those too. They all have it, right? So where's the healthy stuff? You haven't named one healthy thing. You no, what I'm saying is you, you go back to the 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 whole juice area <laughs> and look at the beverage, ingredients. Beverage area. Yeah. The, be the beverage area. The beverage area. Yes, the beverage area. And you grab the, the one thing that you think looks the healthiest out of all of them. Flip it over. Read the ingredients. It better say water. Almost never is the first ingredient water. Even in the water? E well, you yeah, I guess if you chose water. Thing in there. So. Yeah, the healthiest option we want. Okay, a healthy option that isn't water. <laughs> Anything that specifically that doesn't specifically just say it's only water. Not something water or this type of water. I mean, there is some waters out there that say they're smart, I suppose. Those probably count as water. I mean... <laughs> but probably those, those are their first ingredient, I hope, and they're not 100% sure, is, is water. <laughs> hey, I'm smart, but I'm not quite sure I'm water, so, you know, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I was drinking one of those the other day. Somebody asked. Water? Is that water? Yeah, another guy goes, no, oh, man, that's vodka. And they go, oh. Yes, the human race. No, it was a boss bottle I was holding on to. I had a smart watch. Same Google? thing. They asked silly questions. Oh, does that make you smarter? <laughs> Not the guy telling the joke, obviously. Um, but the the boss bottles, they, they're round, have that silvery cap on them. Some of them are glass. I guess they make them in, in plastic now. Is why I grabbed one of them. It fits in my lunchbox. Mm, you know. So it was there at the 7-Eleven Circle K, whatever convenience store it was that my wife went to. I didn't go and get it. She grabbed it for me. Anyway, so... They were asking if it was vodka. Most people that didn't know what it was assumed that it was anything except water. Because we don't drink water in this country. No. Isn't that sad? Do you realize that on a daily basis that's a battle I have with you? I, I think water... When you go and you say, what is the best drink... To consume scotch, it's probably. <laughs> I, obviously, I'm a whiskey fan myself. Preferably <laughs> single malt cast strain. Oh, I don't know if I like whiskey from the Highlands. If yeah. you can, I mean, you may as well go all in if we're gonna do it. But uh, okay, aged at least twenty five years. Outside of pure enjoyment, in a wooden barrel. Specifically, I'm um, having a. Measured in fingers, you know. Uh. <laughs> yeah, put that in your hole. Um, <laughs> okay. Is it neat? Uh, 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 no, I like mine on ice. The, the rocks, as they call it. Yes. 
I want it cold. Really not good whiskey. Well, that's why, why I, my point. My point of that is it, yeah, in it, a good glass of ice water is one of the greatest drinks of all time. But how do you drink it if it's ice? Iced. It's iced down. It has ice in it. And water. And so water and ice is water. So what's, what's in It'll the start ice? melting. Water. What, Eventually. Is it the same water or is it different well, water? If you I got mean, it hot enough, water? it would be a gas, too. Well, we're, not, we're not going... Oh, we're not going down that road again. Um, Hold my finger! <laughs> so... If, are you using the same source for your cubage as you are? I mean, does your water get tainted by your cubes? So I mean, is those is, are those artificial okay, cubes? So if it goes are through, those cubes? <laughs> if it goes through the tap and into your filter container or your oh. filtering device, and that water is filtered into your ice trays and placed into your freezer, just the same. And you crack your tray or you whatever has wow, a Wow, you've gone old school there. And Which I crack? Are we talking with the lever one? Or are we talking? I mean, we're, we're going all in now. You know, ice pick, man. <laughs> no, I don't have a ice maker in my freezer. So instead of like the regular you have square, trays, trays. You have no, tray. no, no, we you have, have the trays with the handle. No, we don't. You don't have the trays with the handle. No, we have a more so cool. modern version that actually works better because I only usually use the the ice balls for my whiskey. Is ice balls? I ruined it. Um, they're balls of ice. It's the ice cube tray itself are the, the spheres. I know, cold balls. They're not boil. I get it. I didn't say yeah. a word. You don't have to take them out with a phallic-shaped object or anything. I did. They do slowly shrink over time. <laughs> Once again, Disney, ignore any commentary. That well, as they're melting in the whiskey. Is... So you've yep. got fancy ice. Well, the trays are fancy, and thus it makes... So, wait, wait, are you using pedestrian water in your fancy trays? Well, that's the thing. The same water that goes into my glass of ice water that goes into the filter. The thing that drips down, and you put it in your refrigerator, and you get the little pitcher. Like, a bunch of companies make them. I don't want to name any of them, but most people... Pitcher? Not pitcher. Pit, pitcher. <laughs> pitcher. <laughs> so, the guy throws a ball at you. Yeah, here we go again. The English language is amazing. And my wife and I were just talking about this the other day. She's like, oh, like one word that means many different things. And I was like, you mean like dog? She goes, no, that's just an animal. I was like, ah, no, it's not. Don't dog me, man. Yeah, those are the locks on doors, dogs. Or it could be an engagement type of a transmission if it doesn't use synchros. Uh huh. I was thinking about verbs and nouns. I don't know too many other languages where you boat in your boat. Yeah, that's true. I forget what we were even talking about. <laughs> you were going on some tirade about your balls. I oh, yes. But anyways, <laughs> because we don't have an ice maker in this freezer. Yes, yeah, so, so you've got an effective so freezer. You could solve that. It's not effective. You could solve that. You say, well, the ice trays, we could use those. Or we could go the fancy way and do the ice spheres. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. so you have spherical ice. Yes, yeah, so the ice trays that we have are actually spheres. They're the silicon double the silicon piece, that they come and they the click valley. together, and it has a little funnel, and you take the pitcher of the water that you've filtered, and you pour it in through the funnel at the top of it. This is too much work. I don't do it. My wife does it because she wants spherical ice, whatever. If she's willing to do the work, I'm willing to use them. I would just go to get a bag of ice over there from where we drop off the fish, but <laughs> that's fine by me. I don't, but whatever. Did, did someone make the transition to fish? Because I didn't catch that. Okay. Fish? <laughs> yes. Would there be fish in space? Space fish? On a water world, would there be fish? Space fish? If they didn't follow any sort of things that we have for our slow your whatever roll. Darwinism thing. Slow, exactly, slow your roll. So what makes you think that fish would require water in space? Would they? Well, would they still off, be fish if they didn't, though? Okay, why are fish fish? Because you're they gonna, breathe. You're going to play that card. Because they're in water, uh -huh. breathe. And why did we not name that rock? Because of the, it breathed through gills while in water. No, once again, why, why didn't we name that rock? What rock didn't you name? We could have named things that swim in the water rock. 
Sure. And when your eyes look through my eyes and they see the color red instead of blue, you're going, whoa, it's so weird. But you've been taught that that color blue is blue or that color red is red. Even though we may be seeing colors differently our whole life, how do you describe a color? You can't, man. And so when you name a rock or a fish, a fish or a rock, that's what you grew up with. That's right. well the whole language develops. It's your That's perception. What it is. It's not your perception, it's what you're taught. Yeah, yeah, well, Based well, upon your true. perception, the way true. you look you at it. You see this thing, you get and you look at you look you at You recognize your mason jar that no longer has that green goofy crap in it. Oh my god, what you was. called it green goofy crap. Well, you couldn't describe to me what it was. I told you it was trees. You said it ground was like into a fine powder grass or and, something. and made drinkable so that I could get all the chlorophyll and other Miscellaneous nutrients I need without you know going out. Remember, I'm trying to cut out the middleman. You but had it's that not discussion. The I'm going straight to the grass. It's not straight the summertime. To the grass. That's why it's powdered. It came from a store. Yeah, but you're only supposed to eat your grass in the summer. No, no, only if you're a goat. Or you're singing our Christmas song. I'm not the greatest of all time. Ba ba ba. That was bad. It was almost as bad as me asking the dad joke and Google <laughs> on that last episode. Oh man, uh, because it's just it's it's not safe to walk across the road with the sidewalk, and no matter how much reflective gear you wear, uh, yeah, twice. Thanks, Google. I got nothing. <laughs> it did. It it made you not want to ask the question. It made me, yeah yeah behavior it modification yes, through. So they went. Ch- and you were like, eh, no, no, I they was this. Wait a minute. And then they went <laughs> again, and Whoa. then you were like, <laughs> that's swipe or no swiping. These are not the droids I am looking <laughs> for. Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. Are you okay? <laughs> Isn't that what the sound is? <laughs> no, it was like me arcing the uh, cattle prod. You arc, an, a, a, you arc a cattle prod. Have you ever arced a cattle prod? Oh, I'm waiting for this answer. I can neither. <laughs> I don't, I can neither. <laughs> I don't want to know. There was, there was probably some weird shaped boots and a strap and this leather let's, thing. Let's the gold out of this one. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to know what it is you do on your personal time, yeah. And yeah. I know you run a gym. And it, well, it's yeah. You every now and then. Yeah. 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 Like once a week or so. They're they're in they're they're about something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Usually released early, like one a.m. on Monday. Yeah. Gotta be Monday. Definitely Monday. Why is, why is it gotta be Monday? Oh, this is the beginning of the week, so but if you're making this from chess day, you gotta put you gotta release a podcast on International Chess Day. Well, these we can these violate do, the rules. Sure. These do tend to, to come out a little longer than we initially anticipated. So and you're you're you commute we anticipate. And why this is great if you're driving from Orlando to BFE, I mean to Titusville. <laughs> or if you know you're stuck in traffic on the beltway. These podcasts are perfect for that. Well, I assume that if you're listening to our podcast, you're probably not only listening to our podcast. Why, why, There's why probably you other to? podcasts that you listen to why, as well. Why would you go to inferior product when you know you're... I know, you're already getting to go right here. Yeah, exactly. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why would you mess with the goat when we can give you straight to the horns? Uh, oh, you. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so if you're you're sitting in your car and you're you know driving along, listening eh, 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 eh. Get out of my way. Back to the horn. Oh my goodness, he's driving slow in the fast lane. Get out of the way, you blue hair. You know, or whatever you're saying. Oh my goodness, what what is this poor person on? They're seeing blue hairs. Uh Japanese cartoons. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Hey man! For all of you anime fans that he just offended, he offended me too. Hey, no, 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 no! The number one rule of Japanese cartoon is you gotta have blue hair. No, everyone yeah. does not have blue hair. Oh man! Ichigo Kurosaki's hair is orange. No, no, no! Yes. Look, look up Homestar Ichi- Runner. Ichigo Kurosaki's hair is orange. 
then look up Homestar Runner Japanese cartoon. Homestar Runner Japanese cartoon. Gotta have blue hair. No. Oh, yes. No, no. And then, of course, look up Trogdor. T R O G D O R. He's the Burninator. It burninates the countryside and burninates the peasants. And burninates all the people. And they're that true cottages! And then Trogdor comes and. I, you know, I'm not. I thought it was awesome. If you know what I'm talking about, just let me know so I'm not the only one. For those of you listening, I think he's gone off the deep end, so if you never hear from me again, please. Oh, if you ever heard from me again, we already knew it was Google. We mentioned this one. Oh, or it's man. that uh, similar to Umbrella Corporation. We can add that to the list now. I don't know what corporation that is. You know, I think if you disappeared, we'd have to go talk to Elon, because you bring it up every time about him. Elon's the man! Yes. And you, you know who's going to solve the light speed problem? Uh, probably Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm thinking Elon. Why? Because Neil deGrasse Tyson is probably going to be all theoretical about it. Yes. But Elon's going no, no, to go, well, I need to be able to do this. Well, the same way I needed a battery. Making I it is not solving it. I needed to make a rocket. Making it's not solving it. Yeah. The yeah, math a, problem you, has to be formulated and solved oh, first. Yeah. And I believe Neil deGrasse Tyson, possibly the smartest man on earth today, right now, at this precise at this moment, speci- time? specific precise moment. So right if now, we move the planet back two seconds, he would no longer be the smartest. Well, I think he has been for uh, ever since the the guy in the wheelchair croaked. His name was Hawking. Yes. Hawking. Look, look, look. Stephen Hawking was very smart. And if he wanted to talk to you, he he'd very, press his buttons said, on his speak and spell. He said, he said but very. Stephen Hawking, the late Hawkins. Stephen Hawking, he said, very bless his soul, that, that, that bless his heart. Quantum, his not his brain and very. Okay, yeah, I guess very is a big perspective. He's not with us anymore. I know I miss Steve. Okay, so they're there. We have to move on, and. Uh, we can't call him second place anymore. We're going to bump him up into that first spot. Because, remember, when you're in a race and is you're running as hard as you can and you pass second place, what place are you in? Is that like that whole entire second place. Riddick thing, you keep what you kill? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just checking to make sure that we haven't violated any rules here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Neil deGrasse Tyson in a fight with Stephen Hawking back when he was around? For, for, for you know, leader of the, the, the intelligentsia in the science community? No, I mean like in a boxing ring. <laughs> that would be a slaughter. You know, poor Hawking would probably just beat what the crap the out of him with the speaking that? Story. MTV, de- you people don't death know match. Story. Yes! Celebrity death match. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fran Drescher versus the Loch Ness Monster. That was one oh of my, my favorite Lord. ones. How did you remember that? Because <laughs> that one stuck in my head so much. I, I was like, that woman's voice I is... I love Fran Drescher. Oh, me too. I loved her show. The Nanny. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was also really excited in that movie Santa's Slay, S-L-A-Y, where her face was smashed into a bowl of cream corn, and that's how Santa killed her. That was also really entertaining. I like her a lot. Great actress. But uh, that voice is like, Ugh. No, I love her oh, voice. My goodness. I would not have her voice on my Google Home Mini. Fran Drescher is the woman. Back in the day, oh. I used to have me a big crush on Fran Drescher. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Beautiful. Beautiful woman. Love that voice. And you know what? She aged like wine. Fine? Fine wine. Mm. Yeah, go, like, Fran. like us. We age like milk. Props out to <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, everything in between and on both sides of that, that's going to be the end of and this I'm episode. Like milk, I'm going to turn myself into a wheel of extra sharp cheddar. Yeah, that's pretty cheesy already. So you're already on a roll. <laughs> wow, I'm not even going to touch either one of those two. I like yeah, mine yeah. one, mine two, just dodging them. <laughs> All right, so if you have any... Uh, bitches complains, concerns, gripes, or basically in general just want to send us an email at all, 
It's not robots questions at gmail.com. Or if you want to give us a good chin wagon or flap the gums or talk to us, uh, you're not going to be talking directly to us, but it will be leaving us a voicemail. That's anchor.fm slash not dash robots. Or if you have any plans on how we can build a craft that will defy the, our known laws of physics, please share. You already solved that one. It was the buttered toast and the cat. I thought it was a toast. No, no, no the gravitational issue. Oh, no, I'm, yeah. on, I'm, on, I'm on time space now. <laughs> I'm on time space. I'm on time space. And th thanks for watching. Anybody thanks for listening. Anybody start his plans, please, please send them to me. <laughs> no, robots out. How do you maintain, how do you contain a sun again? we got to figure that out. Put it in a phone booth? <laughs> Only if that son's name is Cal L. Ooh. We were looking at houses, right? A whole bunch of houses we looked at. There's one that was set up like totally, totally retro. Right? Not, not as cool as the one with the the the, the bomb shell. No, like the best one. This one was way more groovy, man. But uh, it had hookah pipe in the center of it. Uh, it totally had one. I would be like. Whoa, that really fits. But no, man, it had like a, a green dishwasher and this green stove, and it was like 1960s. Oh my God, everything about what well, the house was built in '68, mm -hmm. and everything about it looked like it was a 1968 time capsule. Oh, well, that's cool. I was like, Whoa, did they have like like the, this the, is so cool? The Ward and June Cleaver like lamps and yes, stuff. seriously, it was spot. Wow! I mean, impressed. it was so. It was. So, it even had shell-shaped sinks. Dude, that's hardcore. Right? That's I hardcore. was like, I was like, whoa, that's really cool. Uh, Everything's wow. stuck in here, from from like 1968 at the time capsule. And then I was like, wait a minute, these sinks have never been used, right? Hmm. This carpet, that's brand new shag. Yeah, Hold baby. On. Yeah, oh, that, sorry. that that dishwasher, they didn't have a dishwasher in 1968. I look at the brand, I'm like, wait a minute, that's a retro brand. I look at the stove, I'm like, that's brand new as well. That's a retro brand. They redid the oh, entire house serious? in all 1960s everything. We're talking terrazzo floors. We're talking everything that you could think of in a house, other than the pipes were done properly, stainless steel or, or PVC. And so the, the sink pipe actually pipe. had a dishwasher. So it was all completely redone, but it was all like 1968 time capsules. Every single thing about the entire house. That's kind of cool. Even the door handles had the floral the, pattern the, around The glass them. knobs of the... All the cabinets had the glass knobs on them. It was so 1968 Did to they 1970. Have the, 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 the big half clamshell chairs hanging from the ceiling? No, they weren't hanging from the ceiling. Ah. No. They did They did have the, the proper bar for those, and they had spots where they no, looked I mean, like the you big could mount them. Because yeah, remember the, like half, the, uh, the, the, the big half ping pong uh, ball what? things with the red cushions in them, right? Yeah. Yeah. They had the mounts. But the, the chairs weren't in there. Okay. So, I mean, you could have, but I don't know if the chairs were in the garage because the garage was locked. We couldn't get in the seat. Was Matt Helm there? No, it was myself. Was the Flint realtor. there? And strangely, my wife actually went to look at this house, and she hasn't. She didn't really go to look at too many houses at all. Mm -hmm. That's a sign. That was a good house. She's like, wow, why would they do this? Why would they do this? I was like, wait a minute. They did this on purpose. Mm. One thing I think they totally did super wrong, but it definitely follows in line with 1968, is the fireplace, right in front of the fireplace, was carpet. Yeah, but did, was it that 1968? Yes. The one thing I wouldn't have done out of that group is I would not have put carpet in front of the fireplace in that pile. Because when your oak pops and it throws sparks out of it. Screen, screen, screen. In 1968? Yeah, didn't they have the, didn't they have the doors in 1960s? Well, if they were using the wood stoves, they had no, no, no. But there were doors on some of the fireplaces. Maybe. Remember, I've always like copper, copper and glass doors. Yeah. Okay. Well, it it had it had a foldy screen. Mm. Oh yeah, they only went the foldy screen. Yeah. They used, they used they were doors. Well, I don't know if you could still get those doors or not. Probably not. Probably not. But 
I would not have put the carpet there in the, or at least that area that in front of. That's where the bearskin the rug was to catch the flames. Right. I would have had tile or wood no, no, to no, put down the bearskin rug to, to catch the flames. But the bearskin rug's 19, isn't that 50 inches? 40, 50? Well, any sort of animal skin still would have matched all the way up through the 70s. Well, not really. Once you got into like mid 70s, they kind of went, nah, fur is murder, man. But before that, they did have it. I can't tell what your opinion on that was at all. And apparently, so people try to break in and bad things happen. Just just that one time. Nobody's broken in since. At least none that that they could find. That lovely baying sound (laughs) when the moons fall and the entire neighborhood knows it. What is it, 12 gauge? No. That would be my dire wolf's name. That that's a hell of a name for a direwolf. No, no, Jesus. Then you get the parrot. Jesus is watching you. (laughs) 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 Oh my goodness. Did we even have a subject? <laughs> How did we do that for an hour? <laughs> How did we do that a for an hour? hour <laughs> did we even hit the topic? Yeah, we did. We brushed against Bru- it. Yeah, it was like, here's the question. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Next thing you know, we're in barracks and having pizza, and there's like high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, there was there. no foxes stealing it from me this time, though. That is true. <laughs> It was true. This was this was a foxless episode. It was a foxless episode. It you know what? Foxy. I asked the the Google Home, the what does a fox say, and it actually gave me the sound of a red fox. Grab your phone. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Take me now. You know, those might show up on video, so if it's anything that's uh, important, I know what I do right now. Did you just text me okay? 